previously on Master Detective Archives Ring Code. I think we're just gonna be a staff member. Oh my God, no fucking way. <laughs> oh my God! Gender swap, Yuma! <laughs> oh my God. And now back to Yuma Kyoko Kiyogiri. Sneako B, back with some more Master Detective Archives Rain Code. When we last left off, we finally headed to Etheria Academy, an all-girls school where Kurumi's best friend was killed. And she asked both Yuma and Desahiko to find the culprit. Granted, Desahiko's just perfect here because we need his disguise ability. To be honest, I don't even think he really knows what we're doing here. I think he's just thinking about boobs right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely thinking about boobs. Speaking of boobs, hey, Yuma, you want some? What? Get in the damn thing! Wim bam boom, we've got some freaking rule 63, baby. And if this isn't confirmation that Yuba is in fact just the son slash daughter of Nagi and Kiyogiri, I don't know what is. But uh, after sneaking into the school, we proceed over to the theater department where Kurumi introduced us to the four potential suspects. At which point we decided to sit in and watch one of their rehearsals of a play and it's super boring. And maybe wish we went to Dave and Buster's instead. And they're right, Shinigami. See, she agrees with me. But that's okay, because something finally interesting happens. One of the girls died. Oh, shit. Cool. I mean, not cool, but also cool. Which led to us gathering clues, but not long before the peacekeepers show up and throw a big wrench into everything, including getting ready to arrest Kurumi, who is still staying behind me, waiting for me to do something about it. Yeah! Don't worry, I'll get to you in a second. I'm just finishing talking to some people. What are, what are you talking about doing? The, what are you doing? You got to help me? They're going to take me away. You're fine. Don't worry. Nothing will happen until I do something, because that's just how this works. This doesn't make any sense. It's fine. This is just how reality is. But anyway, last episode, uh, ICY6858 said, Fun fact, not only can Desiko disguise into anyone like Samugi, the teacher was voiced by the same voice actor as Samugi. Also, the art style difference of the students and the teachers was on purpose to make them look like they came from a shoujo manga slash anime. I see. Okay, so that's what was going on with that. That was so baffling to me. I think I saw another pick one say that apparently the uh, the person who did the portrait art was actually the person who did a lot of the background art in like V3 and other Danganronpa games. Ha, cute. Very cute. And I can't help but think that the Samugi one was intentional. I, though I wonder if it was only the English one or was the Japanese uh, voice actress the same as well? If the Japanese one is, then it absolutely was intentional. Absolutely. But I see. Thank you so much for your uh, enlightening comment. And is that reason you are? Comment of the day. Anyway, it's interesting that we're getting another murder on top of the one we're supposed to be investigating. And I assume it's just going to be the same person, potentially. Granted, we did uh, have two killers technically in the last case, so I guess it isn't guaranteed. But damn, these girls are dropping like flies. Anyway, uh, Shinigami did point out that apparently the poison that this lady over here found in the lab was, it becomes non-lethal after it's been exposed to air for a bit. So yeah. So anyway, let's go, I guess, tell that to her face. Hey, hey, dummy. Um, I'm curious about what's written on the bottle's warning label. Let's see, it says, um, uh, these nuts, bitch. I think that joke went half fat a long time ago. Shut up! No, it didn't! Right, Diego? Yeah, it's so funny. Who are you talking to? Silence! Warning label. This chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. I know, reading's hard, right? It has been 30 minutes since the murder occurred. If this chemical was unsealed at the time of the crime, it will have already lost its potency. Let us check. Go ahead, take a... Yeah, so that lady, take a nice sip of that. She's fucking... She, no, she should always take the whole thing and fucking chug. <laughs> Nothing. It seems likely that this poison was used as the murder weapon. Wait, what? What do you mean, nothing? Oh, you mean... Oh, she's saying because... If they had to open it at the time of the murder, then by this point, that doesn't prove anything. That doesn't fucking mean anything, lady. It could have been fucking three hours ago for all you know. You dumb kicky bitch. Which means the crime was possible only for someone at the school with access to the chemistry lab. However, this fact does not contradict her being the killer. Wait, no. I am well aware that many of Etheria Academy's students are children of those affiliated with Amaterasu Corporation. However, that cannot be used as an excuse to bend the truth. Criminals must be punished 
as criminals. <laughs> For that is justice. Now be gone. Any additional interference, and you'll be arrested as well. Be gone, Tiny Thought! Take her away, and dispose of the corpse on stage before it rots. Corpses spoil so quickly due to the rain and humidity in this town. I mean, we're indoors, though. Why? There must be a mistake. It wasn't me. That's right. She's not the killer. Please, listen to me. I warned you not to interfere any further. She swapped out the contents of the bottle before the play began. Oh, that was weird. Did it cut off the first part of his sound bite there? She swapped out the contents of the bottle oh, it did. before the play began. Yeah, it, it, it didn't include the you claim. And the incident occurred more than 30 minutes into the play. If the chemical use in the crime becomes harmless after 30 minutes, then it's impossible for her to be the culprit. I see. How logical and beautiful. Thanks. There is beauty in being logical with all things, much like the golden ratio. Like gazing upon a flawless art piece, and the more delicate it appears, the more excited I become envisioning the moment I pulverize it! Ugh. Huh? Logic is meaningless in the face of ultimate power! What? It is nothing but a glass ornament beneath an iron hammer! Uh, no! I, I'm so excited. Ugh. You're all like weird and horny like Mikon and Junko in the Dark Rope of Three anime. What's with her? I guess all the Peacekeeper higher-ups are perverts without exception. No, my soft and fragile-looking student. Your play acting as a detective is over. Mr. Russ, you are so tall. <laughs> you are so much taller than me. You're like twice my height. Play acting? If you intend to continue interfering with our justice, then you will be pulverized. Bring it on, lady. Help me, Yuma! I tried! You don't try hard enough! Hmm? Yuma? I've heard that name somewhere. Uh-oh. No, never mind. I don't know a little girl like you. Ah, <sighs> okay. Okay, good. Play acting as a detective? She's right. What am I doing? Come on, Yuma, don't listen to the crazy horny lady. Crazy horny lady doesn't know anything! I've mistaken detectives for superheroes. Justice is a matter of opinion. Aw. With enough conviction, anything can be considered justice. Oh, look at little little baby Yuma, female Yuma with little teary eye. Aww. It's only an assumption, completely worthless and completely powerless. Hey, I told you all students must wait on the lower level. Get the hell out of here, right? Somebody's gonna move this body and it's starting to stick out the place. Stop wandering around and go join the others. <sighs> Kurumi was taken away. What should I do? Do I just walk away as if nothing happened? I think it's time we kill somebody. <laughs> kill somebody ourselves. No, I can't do that. Kurumi believed in me. She said the detectives are heroes. I'm no hero, but I'm the only one who can save her right now. I have to do something. <laughs> the truth is still hidden. To discover the truth behind this case, and to find out who the real killer is, I need Desuhiko's help. I need his disguise ability to get information from the club members. Okay. Keep an eye for any extra shit, though. Can I go over here? For now. I cannot. You're that cutie who was with Kurumi. Yeah, you random girl. I know I'm adorable, all right? But it doesn't matter. What are you doing here? If you don't go underground, they'll be mad at you. It, yeah. I was called for questioning, but now I'm heading back. Let's go together. No. Oh, it's fine. I'll be right there, so go on ahead without me. You sure? 
Well, I was curious. Are all the other theater club members also underground? Like Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurone too? Yeah, that's right. Yoshiko is feeling pretty shocked right now. She's in the rest area because she wants to be alone. Waruna is with her usual friend group in the makeup room. As for Kurone, maybe she's in the staff room with the other club members. Ah, got it. Thanks. I'll be going now. Um, teacher? I'm sorry, my student is distressed, so please excuse us for a moment. You okay, Yuma? I'm fine, but Kurumi got caught by the peacekeepers. Are you serious? What are you gonna do? Tetsuhiko, can you lend me a hand investigating this case? Don't tell me you want to keep investigating behind the peacekeepers' backs. Hell yeah, I do. I know it's reckless. The chief even told me not to, but this is something I have to do. You gotta save the woman you love, right? I totally get it. Dude, I met her like fucking 20 minutes ago. No, it's not like I love... My man, usually I'd help you out of sheer respect alone. But those bastards questioned me already, so uh, I can't move from this spot. Couldn't you make up an excuse to leave? Aren't you good at that? Yeah, I probably could, but I couldn't stay away for too long. Maybe I could slip out in disguise, but... I thought I'd put him on high alert and make the investigation tougher. Then what should I do? There's another solution. I'll disguise you, so you can keep on investigating. Ah, oh, Tessica, don't make that face, all right? God damn it, I don't like when you make that face. Yeah, what face are you talking about, Yuma? Hey, hey, hey. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! You want me to keep investigating in disguise? Yeah, I'll give you a voice changer, too. I'll leave this to you. But if this goes on for much longer, we'll both be in trouble. My disguises can't last forever. What? Just win! What? Really? It puts a huge strain on my body. I'm already starting to feel dizzy. So wait, does my my disguise also affect his body too? Uh, are you okay? Not really. But I gotta do this. It's all to save the love of your life. Stop saying that. I mean, this saying I love her is a bit extreme, but... Besides... It seems nice. I'm a master detective of the WDO. I've seen plenty of dangerous situations. So, who do you want to disguise as? Tell me. Yoshiko Waruna Karane. Hmm, let's go with Yoshiko. I want to disguise as Yoshiko. So, you want to be the star candidate of the theater club. She's known for being an honor student, right? So, you know all about her. Why do you think I wanted around the school? Once I've seen the face, I never forget it. Just leave it to me. I wonder how to be each of them at some point. Pardon me. She said she's not feeling well. May I accompany her to the restroom? I'm sorry. We'll be back right away. Yes, listen to Samugi teach her. Play-do Samugi, loo, loo, loo. Look at this, play-do no, Samugi. Just like to do Desiko, you're right. Uh, sorry, I told you, this just fucking me up, alright? Alright, that was perfect. I slipped a voice changer under your clothes, so be sure to use it. So wait, how are you doing it then? I guess you're just using your actual voice? Like, manipulating your voice? Or maybe he has his own voice changer? Oh, also, just a heads up, uh, touching your own boobs won't feel good or anything. What? I'm not gonna touch them! We'll see about that. <laughs> Perverted detective. I'm heading back now. Get going. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Does he go, why? Yoshiko is supposedly well respected by everyone. I hope I can extract information from different theater members. But I'd better be careful and avoid the real Yoshiko. Reminds me of that fucking scene from, uh, fucking that Scooby Doo movie. It was like the live action one, though. I think like Fred turns into Daphne or something and he, one point he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna look at myself naked. <laughs> like, 
Is that the stipulation to his forte? Is like, but you could turn to a sexy girl, but it won't do anything for you. I think Yoshiko is in the rest area, and Waruna is at the makeup room. Kurune should be in the staff room. I'm gonna go talk to Yoshiko as Yoshiko. This would be a good idea. Cross-dressing detective appears. I will say, I cannot wait for Shinigami to get fucking over this, because this is this does feel like it's going on a little too long. It's like, what is she even upset about? She's just jealous and saying a bunch of dumb shit. No. Just keys the restroom. Just like that? I knew your purpose, sheesh. Yeah, there's no way I can go in there like this. So that was a men's side. Let's go over here, then. Huh? Actually, plan to go in there? My disappointment in you is being beyond mere disgust. No. Should probably stay on the women's restroom, but I gotta pee! I love this investigation ass investigation music. The pervert detectives roaming around. Oh! Oh, Yoshiko is here. She probably stay away while I have this disguise on. Wait, where is she? Uh, oh, there she is. No, let's go see Hunter. Can we have some time alone for a bit? What was this crazy camera angle? Um, about what happened. How could you show your face here after murdering Cotton? Cotton? Huh? You're not supposed to be here. Listen, the peacekeepers are everywhere. So stay away from me, got it? Murderers should just. Wait, who are you calling a murderer? Enough! I have nothing to say to you. Shut up and get out of here! That was intense. I heard they were on bad terms, but maybe she's more on edge because of what happened? On top of that, Warana thinks Yoshiko was the killer. Maybe there's a reason why she thinks that. Interesting. I, nothing got added, though. I figured that'd be like adding another uh, freaking solution key. Actually, have, have I looked at my profiles for this case? Tasika got updated. Oh, okay, you got the new picture down there. Uh, Yoshiko. A member of the theater club at Etheria Academy, a beauty whose maturity makes it difficult to think of her as, as a high school student. She's popular in the theater club, is on par with Warana and Karen in terms of acting ability. Mild manner and quiet, and she values the team more than the individual. She likes teddy bears just like syringes. As a talent in sewing. Uh, Warana. Likes trendy makeup, just like sympathy. A member of the theater club at Etheria Academy, she puts on the flashiest and trendiest makeup, which further accents her aggressive personality. Although she intimidates everyone around her, she has no desire to overshadow anyone. She generally enjoys acting and being on stage, innately capable of playing any role. Karane. Likes romance novels, just like electronic gadgets. Uh, okay. Has the talent of memorizing the script. She doesn't talk much and prefers to spend time alone because it's difficult for her to express her emotions. No one really knows what she's thinking, but her acting skills will place her among the best in the club. And then Kadeen, the dead one. Likes being in the spotlight, dislikes dying. I mean, storms. A member of the theater club at Etheria Academy, she has long, beautiful hair and the elegant aura typical of a lady. She's enthusiastic about acting, possessing a stoic philosophy about it. However, because of that, she tends to become un uncooperative and rarely interacts with other students. At a former scene where her character drank poison, she vomited blood and died. She also has a talent for dieting, by the way. I'm oblivious, master. And a creeper, too. Kadin's locker. It's a club locker. Cotton's name tag is on it. Uh, um... That isn't your locker, Yoshiko. Shut up, bitch! Huh? Oh, you're right. Did you forget? We talked about this during the last meeting. Using someone else's makeup will lead to fights, so we aren't allowed to open other people's lockers. The situation is bad enough already, so please don't do anything that could start more fights. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, all right, fine. So this would be mine. Like a, I like how all of the main characters have very various colored lockers here. There's Karanes too. Uh, all right, Yoshiko. It's a club locker. Yoshiko's name tag is on it. I should open it and search inside. You're opening a young girl's locker? 
What you're doing is totally psycho. It's for the investigation. Give me a break. What are she's not she got yeah, dildos in here or anything? At least I don't think so. Turn into a hobby. <laughs> the script and makeup items are neatly placed. Huh? There's a glass in the back. It's the same kind that was used for the play. What is this doing here? Hmm. Okay. Did she exchanged the glass. What else is there? Oh, there's a photo on the back of the door. It's a two-shot photo of Yoshiko and another girl wearing the school's uniform. Is that uh, uh, Kurumi's friend? Was it Aiko or something? Who is she? This photo kind of has of Yoshiko and another girl wearing the same uniform. And that's about it for the things of note in this locker. Also, kind of weird. It's torn around the edges. Is she like. Rip out other people in the picture. Is there any chance I can look in? Oh wait, no. This, this is Karen's locker, that, and that's the Karen's the one who's dead. So I can't. I cannot look in the dead girl's locker. Actually, will anyone be able to look in there? Actually, I don't think. I don't think we would. Oh wait, is one of the other girls in here? Oh yeah, she's right there. You managed it well. Huh? W what do you mean? You're getting good at playing dumb too. <laughs> Are you practicing for the peacekeepers? You really are the top actress after all. Are you talking about what just happened? You really want to say that so loudly? <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to keep a secret. She seems to believe Yoshiko is the culprit from the way she's talking. Is there something about Yoshiko that makes her think that? So it's the same thing, huh? Um, about the case. I know how to keep a secret. Don't worry. I know how to keep a secret. <laughs> I knew it. So she thinks Yoshiko's the culprit. Is that all I can do? Wait, it's still an exclamation point in here. Oh. Hey, do you have a moment? I want to talk about what happened. Um, Yoshiko? Hmm? What's wrong? I'm sorry. It's nothing. Excuse me. <sighs> She suddenly fell quiet. I guess I shouldn't question her anymore. She looked like she wanted to say something, but maybe it's something she can't say to Yoshiko. Maybe she'll talk if I'm disguised as someone else. Weird. It seems like nobody wants to talk to Yoshiko. Everyone thinks it's her. Something they don't want Yoshiko to hear? Yoshiko! Why did you leave me back there? I was so scared. Those peacekeepers kept harassing me. They're the worst. Um, you're... I watched from above the whole time. I saw Cotton die. Oh, I'm going to have nightmares about this. <laughs> Shinigami, are you okay? Ah! <laughs> I'm stuck in surprise face! Ah! I'm so scared. Can we walk home together today? Please? Hey, if you were watching from above, does that mean you were with Kurane on the lights? I was. Why are you asking me this now? Then tell me, did Kurane do anything strange during the performance? Did she carry anything suspicious or do anything out of the ordinary? No. She was the same old unfriendly Kurene. She came to the catwalk before the performance and was there the whole time until the incident occurred. If she did anything out of the ordinary, I would have immediately noticed. Lighting requires perfect teamwork. Though to be honest, it feels really suffocating to be around her. Oh, I wish you were on the lights instead, Yoshiko. Oh my god! Oh, I'm just up there make out with you all day. Mm. Anyway, why do you ask? Oh, uh, no reason. So, Karine was just her usual self, huh? Yep. I never lied to you. Okay, there we go. 
There was nothing unusual about Kurane during the performance. She went up to the Kakawak for the play and stayed there for the duration. Remember the Duel of Poisoned Cups part, where they shuffled the cups? Could you see that part from above? Hmm? Yes, of course. Although the audience couldn't, I could see their hands moving from above. Mm. As part of the lighting crew, that was my most important scene, so it would have been a problem if I couldn't. Most important? Yoshiko! You complimented me during the meeting about this, remember? It's the scene where we shine the spotlight on the glasses after shuffling. Yoshiko! What the fuck? You come away with me! Oh, God, I think Yoshiko needs some better friends. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> That, uh, how is it supposed to go again? It's the presentation where we use two spotlights. Kurine puts a spotlight on one of the glasses first, then I immediately put another spotlight down. Were you not watching? Uh, I was. I just remembered. You did an excellent job with the lights. Wow! Wow! <laughs> you complimented me! I'm so excited. At all tonight. Parents should have got me into this part. May we finally have that sleepover? Gosh, she's fucking wiggling around. What the heck? Damn. Dude, she, yeah, this is definitely. I think this is going well beyond friendship. There's something I need to do right now. Maybe another time. Can I lick your ear again? No. And also, wait, there was a first time? Both members of the lighting crew could see how the glasses were being shuffled. Okay, there we go. Oh, it was updated. I think that's the first time we've seen that happen before. Uh, okay, that was the one in here for her. Okay, and then over here. Uh. Hey. Oh, what should I do? I'm gonna get yelled at. Hey, what are you doing over here? Ah! What's wrong? Oh, Yoshiko. I'm so glad you're here. Is there a problem? Yes. Well, we're missing a prop glass. A glass? You mean for the stage? Yes. You're the one who prepared it for our play today. Hmm. Must be the one in her locker. Oh, um... Did I do that? Huh? Did you forget? We originally planned to use wine glasses, but their thin stems break so easily. So last time you bought four others, including the backups. Uh, oh, right. Two backups were on the prop shelf, but there's only one of them now. Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, where could it have gone? It's got to be the one in her locker. The glass in Yoshiko's locker be the missing one. Uh, speaking of, I want to ask if you're the one who set the glasses up on the stage. Yes, I was. Did you notice anything strange with the glasses at the time? No, they were spotless. We can't let anything happen to the glasses our actors use. I see. Thanks. The student in charge of the props placed the wine glasses. They were spotless at the time. Okay. Suggesting there wasn't something in there or liquid or whatever. I'm not telling you. I don't care, Shinigami. A fucking gun! Oh, it's just a water gun. There's a hole on top for adding water. That's a, that is a very tiny, tiny little orange mark on there to, to mark that this is a toy gun, I will say. That's the prop we used in our previous performance. You did a wonderful job. Thanks. A water gun looks like a real gun. There's a hole for adding water on top. Hmm. Is there any chance that this was used to, like I was saying that like poison maybe was dropped into the glass from up up above. Maybe they used the fucking gut. That'd be a hell of a shot though. Um, you were in charge of the costumes. You're acting like this is the first time we've met. Do you not remember me? Well, people call me the ghost member all the time. No, I can never forget you, costume staff! I'm here every day, but no one notices me. Well, at least I'm not as bad as Kurine. But she stands out a lot when she's on stage. Could it be she acts a certain way so she doesn't stand out on purpose? What do you think, Yoshiko? Uh, uh, 
I'm not so sure. <sighs> she's quiet. Maybe she's not on good terms with Yoshiko. Yeah, everyone's got their friends, right? Nice little investigation I can do. Uh, okay. We need to switch oh, again. I think that's about all the information I can gather while disguised as Yoshiko. People treat Yoshiko exactly like it was reputed. Everyone around her seems to trust her. That being said, Waruna and Purine seem to think Yoshiko is the culprit. I don't know. I think it was actually quite a few people around that didn't trust her and didn't want to talk to her. And do they think she poisoned a rival to eliminate the competition? But I don't see her as someone who could kill. There was no info tying her to the murder either. I think I need to disguise myself as another club member and gather more information. Getting addicted to drag, are you? I don't think you're about to win any races. <sighs> oh my god, seriously, Shinigami, you were really... Uh, um, kind of becoming teacher. unbearable in this fucking chapter, unfortunately. It really is like, this is going on too long, man. Oh, what's wrong? You look pale. I'm sorry, but my student appears to be feeling rather anxious. How's the investigation going? Who do you want to disguise as next? Let's keep going on the list here. Waruna. I want to disguise as Waruna. Waruna. The other lead actress on stage. No, I kind of dig chicks who seem hard to get. You dig any chicks that are anything. Alrighty, time to turn you into just the kind of girl I like. So creepy. Perverts of a feather flock together. Alright, that's perfect. Fucking giant hair. In fact, i totally bang you right now. If you're okay with that. Oh my god, the seeker, come on, man. <sighs> Jesus Christ, dude. I was like starting to like, I'm like, you know what? I'm starting to warm up to you a little bit. With a fucking like it's like, ah, that was cool. You're like, ah, this is my bar, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out, bro, for your investigation. Well, actually more to 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 get you to hook you up or whatever, but it was a little something, but god damn it, dude. Stop making it so fucking hard for me. Hey, hold on. That's completely out of line. I'm a superstar detective. Social norms don't apply to me. <laughs> I refuse to hold myself back. But uh, we can save the fun for later. Go investigate. Oh, God. Ugh. Supposed to be I really did not like that line. I hope I can still get some information from them. But I better make sure I don't run into the real Waruna. Uh, Yoshika was in the rest area. Waruna the makeup room. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't worry. Also, I think this is a pretty clever way for them to uh, uh, have us gather information, though. All right, now let's see what happens when we talk to uh, Yoshiko over here. Hey. <laughs> I said, hey. <sighs> she hears me, but she's ignoring me. I knew they weren't on good terms, but I didn't expect the seemingly friendly Yoshiko to act this way toward her. Still, I need to get her to talk or I won't find any clues. Hey, you fat cow, fucking talk to me. Hey, Yoshiko. Why are you ignoring me? <sighs> You're the one who told me not to speak to you. Huh? It's unlike you to act like this. Are you nervous? Anyway, stop talking to me. Go away. It's no use. Oh well. Hey, Waruna. You handled that poisoning scene with Cotton really well. Huh? I don't want to see you around here again. Was that a compliment about Warren's acting? No, there was some nuance. Like she indirectly yeah. accused Waruna of murdering Cotton. But she wouldn't have said the, I don't want to see you around here again. So Yoshiko believes Waruna killed Cotton during the duel of poisoned cups. Okay. Oh! Waruna's in this room. Probably stay away while I have the disguise on. No, go in there. Fun if there is an exclamation point on there. Or maybe that just means for another character. Aww, I wish this would end soon. 
Oh, Waruna. What brings you here? Sorry, I I'm busy cleaning up right now. She's obviously afraid. Okay, uh, you? Um, <laughs> That's funny. She's ignoring me. Looks like they're not on good terms. Okay. Nobody in here wants to talk to me. Not getting much with her right now. Uh, okay, so hers is, uh, this one. This locker has Warren's name on it. It doesn't seem to be locked. Going through a high school girl's locker while claiming it's for an investigation is what a criminal would do. I'm not a criminal. I'm a detective. Well, a trainee. It's crammed with music and theater magazines. Huh? Is this a diary? But it's locked. I can't open it. Rip that shit open. I don't see a key. Then again, I don't really want to peek into a diary. Let's put it back for now. I don't think there are any other clues. Wow, really? I get much here. What do you want? Can't you tell I'm trying to blend into the wall as best I can right now? Don't talk to me. Um, it's about what happened. I didn't expect you to bring it up. <sighs> Fine. There is something bothering me about it anyway. What's that? I watched the glasses get shuffled while I was above set. Wasn't it slower than usual? W was it? Why did you go so slowly? Um, I was just doing what I usually do. Uh-huh. Doing it like that makes it super obvious what you were trying to do, you know. Huh? <sighs> Whatever. Does she suspect something? Kearney thinks Warana took advantage of the duel of poisoned cups to kill Cotton? So it's like all the girls suspect somebody else, which is interesting. I mean, granted, it could be them trying to shift blame on them as well. I think so far out of the, out of the whole group, I'm actually the most suspicious of her. Hey, could we talk for a bit? <sighs> Warana! What's wrong? Um, well... She's really nervous around Waruna. Maybe I can push her a little to talk. You should tell me if you notice something. Otherwise, I might get upset. S sorry Um, there was one thing I noticed. What was it? It's about Yoshiko. I wonder if she wasn't feeling well. Huh? Why do you say that? I watched from the audience and noticed Yoshiko arrived to the theater hall late. Yeah, I saw that too. Yoshiko always watches from beginning to end, even for the rehearsal performances. I wonder what could have changed that. What did she do after arriving late? Well, she sat near the right edge of the front row before the blackout. She was still there after the lights came on. She didn't leave her seat once. She looked rather restless throughout the play. Right edge in the front row, and she looked restless. Okay. Yoshiko always watches the play begin to end, but for this performance, she arrived late to the theater hall. Hey, can you talk right now? Oh, Warina! I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a bit busy right now. <laughs> Don't you fucking lie to me. It's no use. She won't talk to me. Yeah, okay. She's the uh, friend of the other person, so that makes sense. I bet you're probably not going to talk to me either, right? Wait, it's Waruna. <gasps> Sorry, I'll clean it up immediately. I haven't said anything yet. Waruna must be terrifying. At this rate, I doubt I can... Okay, yeah. Oh, hey. This thing's happening. It's the real Waruna. It'd be trouble if we ran into each other. I should hide. Is she heading to the restroom? Perfect. Ahem. This is just me talking aloud. But this may be an opportunity to slip into that makeup room. You do care, Shinigami. 
You might be right, but it'd be terrible if I'm caught. I'm just talking to myself again. But if you don't grow a pair, you'll never become a full-fledged detective. J shut up! I'm just considering my options. Go, 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 go! Well, so I was like, there's an exclamation point in there. I'm like, it didn't seem like there was any way I could go in. Hey, back already? Yeah, I forgot something. Uh, where was it? I like how all of the, uh, the mouths of Yuma disguising himself as these, as these girls are all, like, wavy-mouthed. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just how nervous he is. That was such a shock, right? Who would have thought Cotton would die on stage? Me! Because I killed her! With these hands! These working ladies' hands! Even though I hated her, seeing her die right in front of me makes me regret bad-mouthing her. Yoshiko has to be the one who did it. Don't you think? Yoshiko? What makes you think that? I thought you'd agree, Warna. Yoshiko is the only one who could do this. She's fanatical about Aiko, though she thinks nobody noticed. Aiko? Hmm. That was Kurumi's close friend who committed suicide six months ago. Which reminds me, we snuck into the school to seek out the truth behind Aiko's death to begin with. Maybe this incident has something to do with her death as well. Yoshiko never shows her feelings, so who knows what she's thinking. But I'm sure Yoshiko hated Karen. Karen got to be the main lead ever since Aiko died, after all. Yoshiko resented her, which led to today. Well, how's that for some expert reasoning? Um, so is it true that Yoshiko adored Aiko? Are you kidding me? Everyone could tell. It was that obvious. Marna, you're really dense when it comes to these things. But that's what makes you likable. I guess. Also, didn't you need to go to the restroom? Ah. What about you? I'm scared. I can't believe I watched someone die. Suck it up, pussy! I wonder where did that end soul go? To heck! The true culprit's soul is deep inside the mystery labyrinth. Only Kurane could do something this scary. Kurane? What makes you think it's her? Oh, now she's saying Kurane. What the hell? Because I saw it. Kurane stole Karen's script when it was left in the wings. Huh? She ran off somewhere with the script. Isn't that suspicious? Kurane took Karen's script? What does it mean? Is there a secret involving her script? Varna! by my side today i'm so scared i could die oh uh i'll think about it <laughs> i better get out of here the real warner might come back any second thanks for talking to me anyway i need to go to the restroom for real this is time go out the other door <laughs> that was super quick, Warna. Huh? Huh? What? How the hell did I not run into her? Oh, we almost ran into each other. That should be enough. Yeah, that's all investigating do. Alright. I think that's all the info I could get is Warna. People are afraid of her, so they don't really talk to her. But Yoshiko and Kurane both seem to suspect Waruna. On the other hand, Waruna's group of friends suspect Yoshiko and Kurane. Everyone suspects each other. Maybe everyone was on edge even before today's incident. But there's still no information that could lead me to the culprit yet. I should disguise myself as another student to get more information. I'll head back to Desuhiko for now. All right. Um, teacher, do you have a moment? I've been talking that piece here for a long ass time. Oh, what's wrong? Are you feeling unwell? Excuse me for a minute. This student doesn't seem to be feeling well. Oh, for the love of God, are all your students not feeling well, lady? They don't, God. Jesus Christ, they don't fucking pay me enough for this bullshit. I was supposed to be on lunch break like two hours ago, you know that? How's the investigation going? 
who would he want to disguise as next? I want to disguise as Kurine. Can you do it? Kurine? Uh... Hold on. I'm reviewing my mental high school girl album right now. Oh, found her. She's the one everyone calls distinctive. I don't know how society sees her, but she's right on the border of my strike zone. I don't care. I bet he'd be happy with just about anyone. He'd probably enjoy getting hit by a dead ball if the pitcher was a girl. <laughs> okay, let's start. Okay, that was pretty funny, Shinigami. Not wrong. Hurry up with the investigation. I'm getting way more tired than I expected. If I stop concentrating, my disguise will wear off. All right, I'll make it quick, so please hold down the fort for just a bit longer. I'm counting on you. Kurine is often alone. I wonder if I can get any information from the others. I assume that means he means my disguise as well, right? I mean, I'm assuming at least. Anyway, I better make sure I don't run into the real Kurine. Uh, Yoshiko is in the rest area. Waruna, the makeup room. All right, yes, yes, yes. All right, last one. All right, what does Yushka say to Karine? Um... Ah! No, sorry if I scared you. I want to talk about what happened. <laughs> Yoshiko? <laughs> she won't even look at me. Maybe she's still in shock from the incident? Or does she treat Karine like this all the time? Damn, girls are kind of just mean to each other. <laughs> hey, Yoshiko. Can we talk? Absolutely not. I will not speak to you. I told you it'd be this way. Huh? As I've said before, I refuse to even look at you. Please, go away. She really hates Kurine. Is there a reason why? I better leave for now. I get much from Yoshiko here. Let's go talk to- oh shit! <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh. That was close. I almost ran into Kurine. But I need to check inside. I'll just wait for her to leave. She's gotta go take a dump at some point, right? Alright. Now here! What are you doing here? Go away! What are you doing here, you damn bitch? <laughs> damn. Hold on. I just wanted to... Okay, everyone's just angry at each other and suspicious of each other. Just by being here, you're a nuisance. Don't you get that? F fine. She really hates Kurine. Kurumi was right. These two really don't get along. It's draining just pretending to be Kurine. I wonder if she's not affected by all this. This is going very well. Hello, Karine. Is something the matter? Okay, I'm sure she'll open up to her then. Huh. She's actually willing to talk. Maybe she's on good terms with Karine. Oh, great timing. I was investigating what just happened. You mean to practice for a role? You did say you wish to play a detective someday. That's amazing, Karine. You truly are a thespian. Sure, let's go with that. Right. So. There's something that's bothering me. No, I am not a lesbian! What? What? What is it? I just handle the costumes, but is there something you want to know about them? Maybe you think the actors on stage could have hidden poison in their costumes. No, sorry. That'd be impossible. Why do you say that? Because I reviewed both costumes in the wings right before the performance started. If they were carrying anything, I would have noticed then. But what about after you checked? Like if they'd gone to the restroom or somewhere else? Then I would check again. Besides, both of them were in the wings the whole time. Oh, really? Though they were performing the whole time, so I haven't checked their costumes since the play began. Well, if they were here the whole time, they couldn't go grab the poison. If that's the case, it would have been difficult for Warana or Cotton to bring poison on stage. The costumes were given a final check of the wings right before the performance. It would have been impossible to hide something under them. Mm -hmm. By okay. The way, Karine, 
I still need to organize the costumes here. If you're free, could you help me out? It's hard to do it alone. Help organize the costumes? Wait, if I can use her to my advantage... <sighs> Taking advantage of a high school girl. You've really hit rock bottom. Can you decide, are you like gonna help me or are you just gonna bitch at me? All right, like you're, you're, you keep flip-flopping. Make up your fucking mind, Shinigami. <sighs> just commit to one thing. Well, will you help me? I wanted to have a little chat with you too. I'm busy, so I'll come back when I'm free. Come get me from the staff room later. That. Well, I'll help out later. So can you grab me from the staff room? Later? When? Count to 100 in your head. <laughs> I'll be done with what I need to do by then. All right. Well, I'll start counting now. Yeah, go one, get the other one, all right? Two. Three. I better leave right now. Yeah. <laughs> run, run, run! I counted to 100, Kurene! Good for you! Huh? What? What's going on? Get over here! Come on! <laughs> yes, all according to you must plan! Alright, good. I'd better check the staff room while I can. Take a break. Okay, now for her locker. It's a club locker. Kurene's name tag is on it. It doesn't seem to be locked. This Kurene gal seems the type of booby trap her locker. <laughs> oh, not dead. Hmm? What's this? It looks like eye drops. There are so many of them, though. Some for red eyes, and for dry eyes. Is this something Kurene usually uses? Are any of them full of poison? Doesn't seem like there's anything else of interest. All right, these girls probably will now. Give me some questions. <laughs> Two theater club members are whispering to each other. They haven't noticed me. Maybe this Kurene disguise has made me less conspicuous. Ah. So who do you think killed Cotton? It has to be Warana, right? Totally. It's gotta be her. She can never read the room, you know? Like, she doesn't see the other members as people. Ah. We're all just stepping stones to her. She thinks she's the main protagonist or something. So it's a stepping stones? Don't get out of here! Oh, but I like to be stepping stones. Yeah, so this kind of matches up with what uh, the other girl was saying, too, where you're kind of dense in regards to, like, social stuff. She basically treats everyone like side characters. I know what you mean. She wouldn't think twice about killing people. They're talking about Warner behind her back. The theater club really is on edge all the time. But even if Waruna was the culprit, how did she get cut in to drink the poison? Well, it's gotta be at that one part. Part in the script where Warner gets closer to the shelf? Oh, right after the blackout. It's the scene where she gets the plate, right? She could have secretly snuck in some real poison and added it to the glass or wine bottle. That's it. Waruna is totally the culprit. The scene where Waruna approaches the shelf. I guess it is pretty suspicious. Yeah, but they had no way of carrying any of the poison with them. Could she have added the poison then? In the upside down glass on the shelf? There's one scene in the story where Waruna approaches the shelf. Hmm? You don't get it? Is there any chance? Can I still not look at, like, Karen's locker? It's a club locker. Cut. Hey, that's not your lock. Huh? Oh, you're right. No, I don't know if anyone's actually going to be able to look into that. <laughs> oh, Kearney. When did you get here? This reminds me. Thank you for what you did. Uh, for what again? You know, how you inspired me with the presentation on stage. Uh, oh, for that one scene, right? You are such a good amnesiac. You have a knack for playing along with no memory. <laughs> yeah, the part with the overlapping spotlights after the glasses get shuffled. It expresses how the two characters' fates are intertwined. It was all thanks to you that we decided to go with this presentation. 
Kurine, why don't you take over stage direction for our next performance? Y yeah, that might be a good idea. Just to confirm. I was the one who suggested the lighting presentation on the glasses? Yeah? What's wrong? You're acting kind of strange today. No, I'm not. It was Curtis that he to shine the spotlight on the wine glass after the shuffling scene. Hmm. I... I do think it's her. I do. I think it was Kurene. I, I think my idea is, is spot on here. None of the girls on stage could have carried the poison on with them. I don't know what the glass is doing in Yoshiko's locker. Maybe she was trying to do something to like, I don't know, fuck with one of the other girls in some way. But I think that she did this by dropping it from above. Maybe she used the water gun too. I don't know. Or maybe her eye drops. But using the spotlight, she would be able to at least get a good, like, like accurate way of uh, dropping it down there, right? Put the spotlight on the one glass and then drop it, right? That's my theory, at least. Hey, do you have a minute? You can hear me, can't you? She's ignoring me. I guess she's not going to talk. I guess there's not much else we can find in the staff room. We better leave before Kurine comes back. Okay. Do you want something? I'm busy right now. She's so cold. She refuses to speak to Kurine. Um, I'm still in the middle of cleaning up. Can you not touch anything? Oh, s sorry. Should be enough. All right. That's all the information I can gather while disguised as Kurine. Kurine seems a bit eccentric, but she doesn't draw a lot of attention to herself. I was able to get some information thanks to that. Yeah, it's interesting. It's an interesting way of not just um, learning about the girls that you talk to, right? But also by learning about the, the the girls that you're playing as, right, and seeing how other people react to them is actually is actually is pretty enlightening. Despite me hilariously enough not really getting much uh, from the other girls when talking to them as the other girls, you know. Kurine was focused on production this time. She was thinking about the lights presentation. The lights were managed properly during the play. It doesn't seem like she had a chance to use any poison. I was able to gather more intel by disguising myself as those three, but I still don't have any definitive evidence that proves who the culprit is. I won't get much further just thinking about it, so I should go to Desuhiko for now. Yes, yeah, she was above the stage. There was one other person besides Kurene working the lights. Though I guess it's possible that, I don't know, maybe she couldn't do it because the other girl would have seen her do it, you know? Maybe? Um, excuse me. Where's the teacher who was here earlier? Oh, let me guess. You also have a fucking stomach ache. God damn it. You know, I'm so fucking done with you girls. Oh, she wasn't feeling well and went to the administrative office. Yeah, she also had a stomach ache. Can you fucking believe it? Yeah, I don't know. What are the odds? The same teacher keeps going back to the restroom, too. Maybe it's food poisoning. I see. Thank you. The office? Why at a time like this? Oh, yeah, he's, he's gonna lose his disguise. D Desuhiko? What happened? Oh, it's you, Yuma. Sorry. I need a break. Interesting. Okay, but his his disguise has appeared, but ours is still on. I started getting dizzy, so uh, I ran in here to get away from everyone. I try to retrieve my disguise tools, but I can't. I'm at my limit. I can't move. You're that fatigued? Yeah. Now that I think about it, oh, this is the longest I've ever stayed in a disguise. Sorry for making you go through so much trouble. I don't worry about it, man. I got to lean on a girl's shoulder on the way here, so really, I should be thanking you. I got plenty of good sniffs in. Ah, oh, come on, man. The more he talks, the less likable he gets. That's what I'm saying. So, how'd it go? Any trouble investigating? About that. I gathered some information, but I'm lacking something more definitive. 
everyone has something suspicious about them, so I don't know who the culprit is yet. Speaking of which, the peacekeepers mentioned a past incident that happened at this school. A past incident? You know, the one with Kurumi's best friend six months ago? The girl who fell from the school's roof and died. The peacekeepers want to pin Kurumi with a murder motive for that incident. They're gonna twist the truth into something that's convenient for them. At this rate, Kurumi will... You'll save her, won't you, hero? I'm... no hero. But if they want to distort the truth, then as a detective, I can't let it slide. <laughs> and that's how you see it? Then you're already a hero, Yuma? There's still time if you hurry. Go and seek the truth that hasn't reared its head yet. But how? The guy snooping around about the first incident is a chubby peacekeeper. Get information out of him and figure out what they're trying to suppress. They won't tell me so easily. Hold on. There is one way it could be possible. Ah, uh, yeah. Disguise myself as Martina. Use Hilara's forte. Disguise myself as the chubby, chubby peacekeeper as himself. Yeah, Martina. That's it. I can get that information if I'm disguised as Martina, the vice director of the peacekeepers. Looks like you now understand the power of disguises. Well then, let's get started. On second thought... Sorry. I don't have any energy left to disguise you. Huh? I think I'll recover if I take a nap. What do I do? There's no time to wait for Desuhiko. I need to find Kurumi immediately. I'm mean, gonna just fucking uh, take that fat chubby guy hostage. It'll be too late if I wait until the peacekeepers end their investigation. But I can't force Desuhiko to do a half-hearted disguise. It'd be way too dangerous with the peacekeepers. What am I supposed to do? Uh, aren't you forgetting about a certain ability? Ah, yes, that's right. Coalescence! Oh, that's right! Or convalesce around the hell is. But what? But don't yell out of nowhere, the peacekeepers will find us! Hey, Desuhiko, can you lend me a hand for a little while? It, lend a hand? Yeah, I just need you to hold my hand for a bit. Are you serious? But right now, you're disguised like a girl. What if I start to have feelings? Now is not the time for jokes! Hurry, please! Cry jokes! Jeez, what's going on? If I can hurry up and give me a handy! What is this weird feeling? Is this... Uh, oh yeah! Um, I'm fucking sucking up your energy right now, Nesiko! You're fucking horny weird energy! Love? No! no! It's a long story, but it's the forte I gained in exchange for my memories. Just holding hands will allow me to use another person's forte. Are you serious? You actually have a forte? Let me borrow your disguise tools. I'm just gonna do it while holding How your hand. Damn, how the hell did I do that? Sorry, I seriously hopped into your bag and then like, while holding your hand, like one-handed all this shit on me? Damn, damn I'm good. Wow, that's the perfect disguise. Did you really do this, Yuma? You never told me you had such an amazing power. I'm surprised there was a peacekeeper uniform in your bag. You're so well prepared, Desuhiko. Wait, but we're holding hands. How'd you put your arm through the sleeve? Yeah, <laughs> so I was gonna say. Anyway, the disguise is over, so. <laughs> <laughs> I like the game pointed that out. Like, wait, I holy ass. How did you. Uh... Shut up, it's fine, just fucking roll it. You said a chubby peacekeeper was investigating the past incident? I'm going to go talk to him. And with that perfect disguise, there's so much more you can do. Right, you stay here and rest. I'll resume the investigation. Go find a little fat asshole and step on him. Be like, oh, yes, mommy, yes, oh, oh, step on me harder! Hey there, dude. Hello there, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm feeling quite unwell. God damn it. I have a stomachache. Son of a bitch. I, I mean, uh, uh, I'll get you some Bepto as soon as possible, ma'am. Good, because if you don't, I'll step all over you. But I like it when you step on me, ma'am. You're not supposed to like it. It's your punishment. I can't help myself, ma'am. What other spots are suspicious? Stories go, so I better check out elsewhere. Uh, oh. 
Oh, I gotta go out the door over here. Okay. All right. I can go anywhere. Or first day, this whole story for someone who would know the details of the incident. Hey, do you have a moment? I'm looking for someone. Fire Sergeant Martinez, who are you searching for? Oh. Crap, I don't know his name. He phrases carefully. See the fat guy around here? The chubby one. You know, the one who investigated the incident here a little while back. I am. He seems to enter the gym. Ah, uh, where is thinking of a handful, but could you at least remember his name? All right, I'll think about it. You know, I fucking feel like it. Oh, hey. For now. There it is. There's the memory shard. I see it. Yeah, you guys said that there was a memory shard here that was missable in this next investigation section, so. Oh, there he is. You there. Do you have a moment? Vice Director Martina! Is it time for my punishment? <laughs> Yes, it is, you dirty boy. Yeah, damn. She said, she said it turned to be actually true. Punishment? Anyway, were you the one investigating the Ico case half a year ago? Y yes, that's correct. Is it time for my punishment? Yes. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, give it to me. I need to confirm a few things. Can you tell me what you've discovered so far? Gladly. <clears throat> Aiko's body was discovered behind the school building in the flower bed after class. She was bleeding from an injury to her head. This is believed to be the cause of death. The body was not wearing shoes on either foot. The shoes were then discovered on the roof of the school building, set together neatly. This is why it was deemed a suicide via jumping off the roof. Uh, uh, here is a photo from the scene. This is just a picture of me naked. Oh, sorry, that was that was for the wrong album. Who first discovered the body? Let's see. It was a student named Cotton, another theater club member. One that died. Huh? Cotton? She heard something fall and went to check the flower bed. There she discovered Iko on the ground. That is what she testified. Aiko was considered the star of the theater club, but apparently she worried about her future goals. Hmm. So it could almost seemingly be something like Karen was the one that killed Aiko, right? And then somebody else killed Karen in revenge, which you would almost think was Yoshiko, because Yoshiko was the one that cared about uh, seemingly Aiko the most. And by the way, this is the last photo of Aiko prior to her death. Yep. So this is Aiko. After school, Aiko's body was found in the flower bed behind the school. The peacekeeper deemed it a suicide via jumping off the roof. Last photo of Aiko before her death. A photo of Osh Yoshiko and Aiko. It appears two of them were cut out from a larger photo. I see. Thank you for the report. Continue your investigation. I'll punish your ass later. Yes, ma'am. Oh, but what about my punishment? What about it? Um, uh, be gone. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> What's with the punishment thing? Anyway, I got what I came for. I should keep investigating. But where to go? Ah. Uh. Hey, what are you doing? Cut it out! Why are you getting in the way of my investigation? Nah, she's committed to this shit. She's just playing hard to get, you know. Oh, wait. The chemistry lab. Besides, where would she even get poison from? Ms. Martina, this was discovered in the chemistry lab. Right, the bottle of poison used in the murder was found there. Well, I'm here anyway. Might as well check it out. All right, but first, there we are, uh, Halara. Vice Director, was there something insufficient about our investigation? Had you told me, I would have verified myself. 
Thank you for your diligence. Tell me, do you have the results from testing for poison? Yes, as I've reported to you already. The poison was only found on the victim's glass. Only the victim's? What about the bottle, the other glass? None. No traces have been found on those. And as you've instructed, this information is currently being kept from the official report. Oh. I see. Good work. The poison was only on Cotton's glass? How was that possible? Yeah. Poison was dictated in the glass held by the victim, but the other glass had no such traces. No poison was detected in or on the wine bottle. Okay. Oh, eyedropper. Their eyedropper is used in the lab, but these still look new. An eyedropper typically used in science experiments doesn't appear to have been used. I really think it is. I really think it's going to end up being current A. A paintbrush. Wait, there's a paintbrush near the chemical shelf. The tip of the brush is wet. What is this? Uh, something used to... I don't know. But that could have been used to lace one of the inside of the cups, though. Rank up. This is the bottle of poison discovered by the peacekeepers that was used for the murder. They'd taken it out for the investigation. Did they put it back because they were done? The report mentioned the bottle's lid was unsealed. The bottle is too big to easily conceal. Taking this to the theater hall would attract attention. If that's the case, maybe its contents were poured into another container. According to the label on this bottle, this chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Oh, there's a more detailed description about it here. Once opened, oxidation cannot be stopped. Transferring to another sealed container will not prevent this process. Okay. What's from the chemistry lab? Bottle's lid was unsealed. There's probably not much else that can be checked in the chemistry lab, but it sure is convenient being disguised as Martina. The peacekeepers keep telling me everything. I should have taken this disguise from the start. Yeah, really? Maybe I should keep investigating in this form. She's gonna just talk to the, the girls downstairs about this shit. They're gonna punish them if I didn't. Hmm. What else should I look at? Time to drag us again. Uh, again? The staff room? I think I already checked everything in there. No, I didn't check everything. Ah. There were lockers I haven't searched yet. Yeah. Now that I'm disguised as Martina, I could look through everything. Yeah, there we go. Hey, ladies. What the fuck is going on here? You. Look here, bitch. You have a moment. I'd like you to tell me what you know about the incident. Uh, all right. And that's all. Hmm. At least he's conflict with what I already know. Thank you for your cooperation. This room is so structured otherwise. Oh, interesting. Okay. She actually, conf actually said some shit. What about you? Do you have a moment? Does... Anything stand out about what happened? Uh, nothing in particular. <laughs> oh, really? That's all you gotta say? I'm kidding. It's a club locker. Cotton's name tag is on it. I have to open this for the investigation. Do you understand? Huh? I yes. Ah! Huh? There's something on the floor. It's the script for the play. Cotton's name is written on the cover. There are tons of handwritten notes. A lot of effort was clearly put into this. Hmm? There's something written in red at the Duel of Poisoned Cup scene. Take the glass the spotlight hits first. Cotton must have written this. The handwriting is the same as the rest. Interesting. Hmm. So what the written note says, take the glass, the spotlight hits first. Could it be that... Hmm. 
we're almost wondering if maybe some of the girls thought they were working together to do like to kill somebody else and then one of them backstabbed them you know or she would planned something and then it then the other person like saw through it and you know actually screwed her over she definitely looked away just now it's a club locker warren has a name tag is on it i have to open this for the investigation do you understand huh but didn't i check this already huh? Oh, right. Oh, yeah. This diary yeah. has a lock on it. I feel bad about reading someone's diary, but I need as many clues as I can get my hands on. You there. Can you call over the student named Waruna? Huh? Waruna? Sure. Tell that bitch to open this shit up! Why are we all our secret, dirty, dark secrets? What do you want with me? Can you open this lock? That's my diary! Hell yeah, it is! It's mine now! Where did you get that? That has nothing to do with what happened! Uh, I'll be the judge of that. It pains me to do this, but it might lead to a clue. I have no choice. Isn't this what a detective would do? There's no need for emotions to solve a case, right? I understand. Here's the key. I'll give it back right away. Don't worry. Oh. What's this photo? Interesting. She did the same thing? Did everybody just love this Ico girl? Hmm. I'm almost wondering if it was like, it is like, were all the girls trying to like fuck each other over in some way? It was like a backstabbing of a backstabbing of a backstabbing. <laughs> See, here, you can have it back. But of Warna and Ico, it appears the two of them were cut out from a larger photo. Do you have a moment? Are you the one who shoved Cotton's script into her locker? Ah. What are you talking about? I have an eyewitness account of you taking Cotton's script. <sighs> are you hiding something? If you keep hiding it, you'll be sorry later on. Don't tell me you're also hiding the chemical used in the murder. Uh, I'm not, I swear! She's definitely hiding something, but I don't think I can get anything out of her. Tell me right now! Tell me right now! Tell me right now! You should pat her down and search her. Huh? A detective must suspect everything. You get to fondle a high school girl. Being the pervert you are, you'd be killing two birds with one stone. Hey, you. Check Karine's body to see if she's hiding something. Me? Wouldn't it be better for the peacekeepers to do their own investigation? Sure, but do what I say! But that would, uh, cause some problems. Just do as I say. I'm on it. Oh, there's something in her pocket. That's... A notebook. Do we picture you guys in there now, too? Oh. Is this a scrapbook? There are magazine and newspaper clippings in it. And all the articles are... related to Aiko? Oh my god, all these girls were in love with her! On another page, there's a small clipping of an article about Aiko's suicide. Was she collecting everything there is about Aiko? It's interesting. I think all three of these girls were planning to kill Karen. I think all of them were. But the question is, who actually was the one that did it, right? Who actually, like, followed through with it? I wonder if there's any chance that this is going to end up being that Kurumi really actually did end up killing her, right? Like, right now, like, all these other girls are red herrings, and they see, like, they're all actively in some way trying to to do it. It seemed like it might be the case, but then it turns out it was actually Kurumi after all. It just seems like, but that would be kind of weird only because, like, why would she hire us then, you know? If she was, like, already in the middle of doing something. Wait, is that... <laughs> hey, where's she going? Everybody loves Aiko. No, it's fine. Seems like everyone's actually in love with Aiko here. Huh? R really? A scrapbook owned by Kurane. There are magazine and newspaper clippings pasted in it. 
photo of Kurene and Aiko. It appears two of them were cut out from a larger photo. Alright, that's enough investigating in this form. I should revert to my normal self. It'll get increasingly harder to investigate like this. Forcibly exposing secrets isn't an investigation. It's just coercion. <sighs> You're such a naive softy. Alright, let's go back to Desuhiko. Finished. Huh? Uh-oh. You idiot! Don't come back here right now! Damn, this is bad! Another elegant and highly intelligent beauty. What a surprise. Although it appears you were unable to copy what is in my head. Put your hands up! You must be the suspicious person wandering around the crime Wait, scene. use my gun! I received word of you lurking about, and here we are. Who are you? I am a shadow of the true self! <laughs> this is bad. What do I do? At this rate, both of us will be captured. Looks like you gotta surrender. And that's what you get for getting carried away. Although, if you apologize to me sincerely, I just might... Help! Somebody! What? What are you screaming for? W what are you... Boom! The imposter is right here. She's carrying a weapon. Ha! <laughs> Clever, Yuma. Hold on. That's the imposter. Huh? What? Oh shit! Oh man, not this! This is my worst nightmare! Double punishment! Speak for yourself, man! This teacher and I will evacuate the premises! Eliminate that threat at once! Kill her! Hey, now what do we do? Uh, run! I didn't think that far ahead! Let's, uh, go this way! We're going back into the theater? Go out the front way! What are we you doing, you idiots? We're running with dead end real quick. Well, that didn't last long. That's enough. As I suspected, you can't copy what's in my head after all. Now reveal your true identity, otherwise you will be shot. <sighs> Our teacher, unless there are two of the same peacekeeper. What is happening? Grumi's here too, for some reason. Yuma? Yoshiko, Waruna, Kurane. All right, everyone's here, so someone could die when we uh, go to the Mr. So Labyrinth. Gross. I almost figured out who the true culprit is. Now hurry it up. I won't give you a countdown before I pull the trigger. Come on, Shimmy, you don't have the balls. Wait! I'll do as you say. Ayo. Uh, a man? You lot. I see. Detectives from the Nocturnal Detective Agency. <laughs> In that case, you can both be disposed of right here and now. What? Damn. I've got no choice. Smoke bomb! What are you doing? Get out of here, Yuma! This is Hiko! I'm grabbing her ass! You got mad? Do you realize that? Help you! You will regret this in hell. Yeah! Should take it a while to pull that trigger. Shigami, please help me. Uh, oh, if I have to. 
Here we go. Go time. Alright, good. We can finally get over you being pissed at me. Get back to you be actually being enjoyable again. Booba. <laughs> Got frozen that fucking crazy smile. Oh, just here you come with us too. You ready about to see some weird shit, man? Ah, I did it without thinking. He didn't even get on his knees or anything. Um, well, thanks, Shinigami. You saved me. Don't mention it. I'm compelled to help when people need me. Whoa! <laughs> What's this? What's going on? Whoops. Looks like we got an unwanted straggler in here. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you being so huge? More importantly, where do you live? What are your hobbies? What do you think of me? Did you look at that? We have a punching bag! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! Get him! Get him, shit, got me, boy! Down the rabbit hole we go! Bye, everyone! <laughs> I like how she did that. Just beat the shit out of him. All right! There we go. This is an interesting one. I'm thinking it's a case where every one of these girls plan to, like, I think kill Karen, you know? I think everyone had, like, some plan, but I, I think only one person actually managed to pull it off. Now, the question is, is it going to be a case of, well, actually, I guess it could be all three of the girls are actually, like, are actually, like, responsible in some way, but I think it's going to be more that there's only one. The question is, is it going to be one of the three girls that is here, or is it going to pull a fast one and, oh god, it was Kurumi, it turns out it actually was her, but the only reason why I think that doesn't make sense is because then why would she go to the trouble of, like, recruiting us, right? If she was already had this, like, huge plan to find uh, Aiko's killer, you know? I mean, what, to have, and we'd be there and then see her die, and then, like, I don't know, that just doesn't really make any sense to me. So I, I, I my thought process is that it's likely Kurene. Eh? But it does seem like all the girls have, like, something on them that suggests that they were trying to fucking kill Karen or do something to, to undermine her, so. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already. Come up, Picky Penguin. Aboard the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time. Stay classy!